Now, back by popular demand, it's the Lance Roberts Show. And welcome to the show this morning. It's Tuesday. It's the pre-hop day edition of the Lance Roberts Show right here at realinvestmentadvice.com. Uh, get by our website today. We've got lots of new stuff out uh, on the website. Of course, we have our weekend newsletter that's on the website now. Um, yesterday, we talked about uh, in our blog post about the value of cash due to the issue of valuations where we are currently. And I followed that up a bit today with our technically speaking post, which is talking about the risk to earnings because of this re-engagement into tariff and trade war. Now, we spent a lot of time yesterday talking about the impacts of trade and tariffs and what that ultimately is, is going to mean as we continue this fight. And, you know, while it's interesting um, that, you know, there's a lot of, of, of support right now, I guess, because of people like, yeah, we're going to get, you know, we're going after China and, you know, we're going to, those chai comms, boy, we're going to get them with these tariffs. Um, the one thing you've got to remember is that China uh, has a very, very long-term game at hand. And we have a very short-term time horizon here in the U.S., uh, particularly for the current president. He's got one year at least to the next election, uh, four years after that. So at most, he's going to be in office for about the next you know, five and a half years. Um, China is, is going to be around for a very long time. They have an economic outlook of 50 years or more. So the, the issue for them is really is how long can they withstand tariffs relative to the U.S. And so this is I'm, I'm actually watching this very interesting show on uh, on Netflix uh, called The Vikings. And it's an interesting show about, you know, this this development. And part of, you know, the the, you know, victory of laying siege to a castle is simply just to exhaust the resources of the individuals behind the walls, right? So it's, it's, it's a fight of attrition. And that's very much what we're talking about here is that we've got two economies that are now laying in this kind of trade war with each other. Uh, both are behind their own economic walls, so to speak. It now becomes a war of attrition between the two countries. Who can last the longest? Now, the issue is, is that while we may win the war, ultimately, and, and that's gonna be the question is, is whether we can win the war, uh, we could lose a very significant battle here in the short term uh, in the U.S. because of the impact to economic growth. Um, that impact to economic growth has far wide-ranging effects for individuals and investors as well as families because as economic growth weakens, which it will, um, you're going to start to see a pickup in job losses. You're going to start to see other issues. And then more importantly, the bigger risk is the risk to earnings. Um, already, so in June of 2018, I wrote an article, and this is on our website today. So if you want to actually see the graphs, I've laid out all three of them. Uh, what we originally posted in 2018, what we posted at the end of last year, and then I've updated it uh, as of yesterday. But looking at where earnings were or are expected to be in June of 2018, um, we then applied an 11% reduction in earnings estimates due to the impact of tariffs. Since that time, earnings were down through the end of last year 11%, exactly where they should be. Um, of course, that was with a 10% tariff. Now we're talking about adding a 25% tariff and retaliatory tariffs as well. So you're looking at lower earnings from there. So we've made some estimates as to what earnings will look like through the end of, of 2020. The, 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 the good news is, is that you know, they're still gonna potentially grow a little bit. The problem is, is that ultimately that we've got prices that have been elevated on the back of this expectation of a trade war solution. Uh, and so prices have run up and earnings are still declining. And that makes valuations a real risk here. So. You know, as you talk to look forward in, in, in over the course of the next uh, few months, particularly as we move into summer, there's going to be a readjustment potentially in the markets for the expectation of lower earnings because of tariffs. Now, we've got retailers coming out in the next couple of days. They're going to start talking about how they're going to be dealing with tariffs because remember, Tariffs aren't something that governments pay. Tariffs are something that individuals and consumers pay. Where do consumers get that tariff hit, right? It's gonna be at the consumer store, right? So you go to Target, you order from Amazon, whatever it is, that's where you're gonna see the impact of the tariff. So as consumers are required to pay more, if you take a look at what's happening with credit and debt, that's one of the bigger issues for individuals is that their ability to absorb higher cost is greatly is, is much more greatly limited today 
than at just about any other point in history because of the amount of debt that individuals carry. And again, as we talked about financial net worth and, and families, you know, the top 10% of the economy is doing very well. The bottom 90%, not so much. And, and roughly that big chunk in the middle, uh, that 60% of the economy that's the middle class, um, they simply have to deal with the fact that they're living paycheck to paycheck already. So all of a sudden, if you begin to increase the cost of the things they buy just to make ends meet, well, they have to start making sacrifices somewhere else. And then that's where you get the impact to economic growth. Um, last week, when we uh, started the show on last Monday, we talked the markets were basically at, at pushing all time highs. And we said, look, there's a, a reality that we're going to get a, a correction back down to at least the 50 day moving average, potentially the 200 day moving average. And we said that was going to happen over the course of the summer. Didn't know it was going to happen within a, a single week. Um, but that's what's happened here is that markets have gotten very extended from these lows. Uh, we have now set a third top within the market. So we've got a triple top going on in the markets. And all that means is there's a lot of resistance overhead to higher prices. Um, markets are now starting to correct that off. We broke severely through the 50-day moving average yesterday. Of course, a big decline yesterday, 600 points on the Dow, about 70 points roughly on the S&P. Um, markets closed near their lows yesterday. That's not a great sign. Now, we're going to get a little bit of a bounce today. Not surprising here that we see markets bounce a little bit from yesterday's route. But again, the reality is we're going to be looking for a retest of 2770 on the S&P 500, more likely sooner rather than later a break below that level, and potentially we're talking about testing October, November lows from last year. Below that, you're gonna be back to December lows pretty quick. So again, there's a lot of risk to the downside as people start to uh, absorb and to reassess valuations and what they're paying for earnings in light of this additional tariff issue that's coming around. So pay attention to that. We'll be back after the break. Uh, be sure to get by the website, realinvestmentadvice.com, our technically speaking post, The Drums of Trade War, part due, is on the website now. So simply download that and, and uh, you'll get up to date with everything we're talking about. Don't go away. Be right back. More of the Lance Robert Show coming up right after this. Get daily investment news you can use. Delivered at the speed of the internet. Sign up for Lance's newsletter now at lancerobertshow.com.